Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Amori. Previously, we were having a fun time going for the black space, where everything was just cheerful and upbeat. A for sale sign of a big red sold sticker on it. Your house has been sold. Tomorrow you will be moving somewhere else. You will miss this place. Can you go in your house, explore a little bit? Dang it, hero! Let me do stuff! Hold up, Sonny. We should see how Aubrey's doing first. Fine. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh... Yeah. Aubrey was supposed to watch the new dance I made up today. Do you think she's avoiding me on purpose? Yes. Charlie agreed. Don't look so damn gim. Everyone has bad days. You know Omri always bounces back. Aubrey isn't feeling well. How could this be? This must be the work of something more sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind or an enemy stand. We must track him down at once. Grumble, grumble. <sighs> Aubrey's old blue bike. Big bag of trash. Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello? Aubrey? Is anyone home? Hello? Oh, it looks like the door was open. Let's just, let's just snoop right in. Swoosh. Let's go inside. Ooh. Guys? Should we have... Yeah, whatever. What's the worst that can happen? I got trash! I like how some trash is distinct from the other trash. <laughs> yep, nope, we're just walking right through. Weird ladder. Oh, this is a uh, bathroom here. Cardboard box, very, very random spot. Put old magazines. Toilet, mirror. Now I'm feeling like I'm playing Lisa. Ben! Hey, Aubrey. How are you feeling? Uh-oh. So yeah, you, you have the other photos. Okay. What the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room! We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just want to make sure you were okay. Look at this house, hero. A little late for that. I'm fine. I've been hearing some things. But I just want to hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. You know he can't swim. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You... you and Basil... and everyone here. You're my best friends. Alright, alright. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. 
Yeah, you haven't been around here a while, Hero. Um, uh, Sunny kind of stabbed Aubrey at some point. I, I feel like you should be filled in on that. Things have gotten quite out of hand. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. They're... they're all I have left of her. But you know, it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sonny has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash can. Unless you and Sonny... Huh. <laughs> you really dug for my trash for this thing. That's... kind of gross. Heh. <laughs> Aubrey, let's put Mari's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. In one piece. Hero took the photo album from you. Come on, guys. We should do this together. Oh no. Wait, some of these photos are new. So I wouldn't be able to, like, remember where they're supposed to go exactly. I'm just gonna have to, like, kind of gauge it. So, obviously there's a party. Are you, are you guiding me there, Photo? I think we're missing a photograph, right? What was in this spot? Go look for the photo? Sure. Well, let's go through. My first photo. It's my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting. It's my 12th birthday today. Cake and ice cream is on its way. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with a strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. This year is looking to be a good year. Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari brought me this photo album, and everyone else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. Just Kel being Kel. So, many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed, and he says absolutely nothing or never interrupts. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Mari and Hero fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. <laughs> I hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. Well, they were pretty tight. Hero and Mari washing dishes from breakfast. We're staying over at Mari and Sunny this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all going to check it out. We're back from the park, but Kel's still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Oof, sorry, Kel. Bad luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing the Hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Me showing Sunny the book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep her track of my things. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. It's already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mari at our secret lake spot. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Dog. Say cheese. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep except me, Hero, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Hector. I'll have to cover up with tape later. 
I caught Mari carrying something on the way home from his school today. He must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought it was so cute, so I got my camera out as quick as I could to snap this once-in-a-lifetime photo. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Mari's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so, too. Sunny and Kel gave up on making flower crowns and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Maybe just a flower is okay. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kale under the umbrella, but Kale seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kale being Kale again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kale to leave his jacket outside since Kale was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. Mari bought everyone popsicles, one of every flavor. Sunny got lemon, Hero got root beer, Kel got orange, Aubrey got watermelon, and Mari got grape. Mine was banana. It tasted okay. All of our shoes in a circle. Can you guess whose shoes are whose? It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all want to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kept calling off with some refreshing orange Joe. I shouldn't get too close, you might get my camera wet. Kel's known to spill his drinks. We buried Sunny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's gonna need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Mari says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun since I got sunburned really easy. Hmm, I'm not sure what Kel is doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Hero's sleeping on Mari. He's all tired out from swimming. Dang, Hero. Well, it seems like Mari won't be able to get her summer tan after all. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo of Mari and Hero. They look so happy. A match made in heaven. Yay, Sunny's turning 12 today. Even though it's me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kelvin in the same school year, Sunny's younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Sunny holding a super huge present from Mari and Hero. Hmm, I wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hero got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box, so... He acts just like Mari's new kid in Mew. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kale put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny and Mew's new home. We're going to beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. Mari says this beetle is a giant stag. It suddenly fell from a tree and surprised everyone. Hero was too grossed out to look. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took the picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. All of us hang out in a brand new treehouse. Looks like Sunny is finally reading the book I showed him. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope we get to use this treehouse more next summer. We went to Hobbies to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. Everyone's so into it right now. Fun! So I'm sure it's all anyone is going to be talking about once school starts. I'm playing cards with Kel, Hero, and Aubrey. They're so easy to read. They can't hide anything on their faces. Mar baked everyone cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious like always. Looks like I have the winning hand. Ha <laughs> ha. But nobody knows that yet. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, and Kale, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey's so photogenic. <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Sunny giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra class to prepare for college. Me and Sunny have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Mari practicing her part for a big recital next month. We're all going to go watch. It's going to be Mari and Sunny's first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. We will all be showing our support from the audience. Mari getting a little camel shy because she's made a small mistake. Don't worry, Mari, just keep going. 
No one will even notice. After some begging, Sunny came to join Mario for recital practice. They're still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go, Mario. Go, Sunny. You can do it. And that's when it ends. So I'm assuming that's where, not long after, something happened. There. Now everything's back where it should be. It looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? Ah, uh, we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. Alright, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check him in Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, know everything I heard from Kel. I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Let's get you out of this house. Huh. Okay. The Fellowship is back together. Nail bat. Aubrey's weapon of choice. More dangerous than a steak knife. Pinwheel. Prettier in the wind. Huh. Bun Bun. Hey! Can't take that. That's my name for buns. A side table is being used to cover up a hole in the wall. Aubrey's bed. Bucket. Useful for rainy days. Alright, we're going out. Yo, Aubrey, how are you? Are you okay? Hey, Kim. I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys! Guys! Aubrey's here. Yo, Aubrey. Are you feeling any better? We've been safe for Taffy for you. What happened there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. It's no biggie. We're just glad you're alright. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up practicing all night. <laughs> that sounds fun, but... Maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. We'll all hang out tomorrow, I promise. Oh, uh, okay. We'll see you later, then. Aubrey. Don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. Can we take your bike? Like, do we have to walk? Guess we do. Hello? Mincy's dil diligently sketching away. I think I met you in the park that one time, right? I'm afraid we won't be holding a sermon today. But feel free to use this place to collect your thoughts. Everyone is welcome here. Teddy bear. Headstone. Bread? Bread. It smells toasty. The spirits have been howling all day. Pray for this neighborhood. Someone will be grieving tonight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. I see. Our dearest Mari. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Let's give you some flowers. Do you want to leave flowers at this grave? Finally, the flowers are useful. 
Hey, Mari. It's me again. Sending Kiln Hero with me this time. Do you visit Mari's grief a lot, Aubrey? Yeah, I try to, although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes too, don't you? Uh, every now and then. But maybe I should have visited more often. Hey, Hero. How you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Hey, Mari. I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but I still miss you more than ever. I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just... really sorry. Hero, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we're here for you if you ever need us. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Here. This is for you, Mari. From all of us. Do you want to have a picnic with Mari? Oh, there was no dialogue during it. Too bad. At least we got the soundtrack going. Puzzle pieces? Hmm. Hey, game council. Hey, a spider. <laughs> What's wrong, hero? Oh, I know. There must be a spider in this room. Don't worry, hero. I got you. And where is that pesky little? It's gonna jump on hero. Do it. Oh, I got you now. It's all right now, hero. You can take it easy. The spider's gone. Show it to me. Huh? Did you say something, hero? Show me the spider. Oh, that's right. Here, look. See? It's really dead. I'm gonna go flush it down the toilet now, okay? Jokes on you, it was a fake spider. The real spider's still there. And I'm back. The spider's gone. It's like magic. <sighs> Thank goodness. Hero. I feel like your fear of spiders has gotten worse. You should really try to work on that. Yeah, like, Mori over here. What if a spider shows up when I'm not here? Don't joke about that! Do you really think that could happen? Man, hero. This is one of those rare times where I feel like the big brother. Video. Yeah, I'm winning. I'm, uh... I'm winning at, um... Killer Instinct. That's right. Combo Breaker. Hey, Sunny. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Though I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll really get over Mari's death. But it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion. And to have patience. A anyway, I just want you to know. I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you. But I think you're looking a little pale. 
And kind of thin, too. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more often, okay? Add me to aim, Aubrey. We'll chat. It's the hit new social... N not really a social network, more of an instant messenger app. Still, hit new social messaging app. Ah, dark garnet. Kale, your old man is such a fool. With a beautiful picnic, but I forgot the most important ingredient. Meat. Meat. Could you spare some time and buy me some of the good old cheap stuff at the Evermart? Here's some cash. Just talk to the meat man in the back, he'll keep right up. Got twenty dollar dues. Give us a lot of talk, but she's got a big heart. And me? I got some big muscles. Hey, well looky here. It's Aubrey and the nerds. Hey Cam, how's it hanging? Oh, you know. Pretty good, pretty good. My dad said he's gonna take us to a sick party tonight. Should be cool. Oh yeah, we're gonna party. Why are you shining? Life's been kind of stressful lately. But people watching out here helps me put things in perspective. Oh, same dialogue I saw at the beginning of the game. You're a generic NPC! Bark, 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 bark. Bark, bork, bark. Good boys, I. Well, hello, boys. Good to see you finally spending some quality time with me. Please stay for a while and listen. We're having the best weather today. Hey, bro. Look at these super rare and expensive trading cards. I'm gonna complete my collection, but I only have five dollars on me. And it sucks to be a kid. But what's this? There's a fresh $20 bill in my butt pocket. This must be my lucky day. Did you just steal that? <laughs> I guess I can afford at least one super rare card today. Wait, no. I still have my $30. Hmm. A little fishy. I'm looking around. Look, I got something and I'm reading it. Let's all sit here and read manga rather than buying it. Come down, Kel. Oh, can we have pizza? Oh yeah, we're eating pi- I'm just not sure what we're eating. We're eating pizza? At least you didn't get a hero. We've been like cannibalism. Oh yeah, we're eating pizza with exactly three pepperonis on it. Is Kelly the only one eating? Kel? Kel? Kel, you're the only one eating. Kel, you're eating it right in front of me. I'm literally not getting anything. Kel. Kel. Kel, I'm right in front of you. Stop eating. How could you eat a whole pizza? So we're gonna hit him. Take a pizza at him. No, he'll eat that. I'm surprised I'll be dead. <laughs> I need meat. Thank you. I hope we meet again too. Throw a coin? Sure. Coin fell straight to the bottom. Useless, kind of. Probably. Maybe. Hello. Here, this is for you. Got flower clip. Thanks. Hold on a second. I want to buy a drink. Hmm. No. No. 
Not this one. What? You're buying soda, but you're passing a good old orange Joe? How could you? Ew, you still drink orange Joe? So grossly sweet. It was made for babies. Oh yeah? If it was made for babies, why would it contain 150 milligrams of caffeine per can? And he has a point. Do your research, Aubrey. Huh, whatever. Everyone knows Orange Joe tastes putrid. They're probably the only person in the world who buys this crap. Well, now you're getting personal. I tell you insult my dear friend Orange Joe. When was the last time you even tried it? I'll show you. Kel, what are you doing? Hey, this can's design is like from about five years ago. And it's expired. I told you. No one buys this stuff. We're not my dear friend, Orange Joe. No matter what, I'll still drink you. Mm, delicious. You're gross. <laughs> and you owe me a dollar. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you later. Yo, you never gave me about $20. I had to steal it. Here's the meat. Give meat to kill his dad. Thanks, champ. This is what I was looking for. I'll make some tasty hamburgers. I'll just drop by later in the evening. I definitely want to try some of this deliciousness. For now, go on and enjoy yourselves. It was great today. I'm not really sure how with this trash heap appeared here overnight. I have a feeling the recyclists are behind this. <sighs> Gonna be stuck cleaning here forever. It's gonna go on inside. Oh, my knife. That's where you threw it away, you bastard. May the biodegradable fork deliver our sins until that cell may be cleansed. Biodegradable fork's name. If we do this, we use and recycle. Hey, look. RPG battles. focuses. Kel gives him encouragement. They're just gathering trash. That's what they do. Do we can't pass to each other? It'd be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Oh god, hero! Ah, but you're still whiffing in your life. Oh my god. Steak knife is OP. Well, we did stab him. Ew. I'm kind of turning to go home and shower. Brothers and sisters must accept that we are trash. We may be trash as long as we remain. By the cable, we yet be saved. And by the cable, folks' name. We just be used to recycle. It's kind of nice to see the team fight together. It's pretty rare. Forgive me for the trash bin. If I have little... Just... Do you look like you're kind of shy? I want to see all the tag-ins. They just don't look at each other anymore. It's kind of like when they were like... Kids a little bit, but a little different. Kel. Oh, Kel got taller than Sunny. Let's see your switch outs. You just fed him with a nail bat. Yeah, that's that's a proper switch out. Oh, 
I mean, Bologna's feel like hero too. <laughs> she seems to like have everything on everybody. Let's try hero. Uh, we know how some of these switches already look like. Okay, so if we can avoid some of you, I wouldn't mind. Hold up, I need to tag out. You hit nothing. Equally useless. There you go. We got to fight this one. Or not. Um, we need Ombre. Push. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, even they're surprised. We one day be recycled into woods when maybe deserted a trashless world. The Padre get a folks name. Dang, I lost. What are you doing, guys? Gaze upon the size of our army and tremble. But low falls of your own, you'll never be able to defeat us. A filthy plastic wielder demands my allegiance. Never. But perhaps if you were someone more charming. Get in there. Hey, I'm charming. This place doesn't suit you. Why don't you take care of this mess before it gets out of hand? Yeah, you're probably right. There is seven of you all. I'm assuming we're counting ourselves too in this. So it's a symbol team. This place doesn't suit you. Why don't we take care of this mess before it gets out of hand? Yeah, you're probably right. Wait, why are you a bird? That can't be right. Well, you're not a bird. He has a bug. Uh-oh. It looks like you outnumber us now. It seems we have no choice but to surrender. Alright, let's go. Going for some barbecue tonight? So I guess, uh, we should get going too. Hello. Welcome to the top of the rubble. It is I, the psychopath. One only chosen to speak in the Holy Ben's name. I had a dream last night. The spirit of the rubber glove told me that this world is no longer fit for us. We must build as the Holy Ben in the sky commands us. To reach a trashless world where humans and biodegradable materials may coexist in harmony. You kids have reached a long way up this tower. But I'm afraid this is where your journey ends. After all, you're nothing but trash. Grubby, senseless plastic wielders of manly badass heroes stuck in trash cans. May the grace of the biodegradable fork work for me. Prepare to be recycled. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the recycling here. Alright, let's do it. Alright team, just let me get practice in the dream world, but you guys don't remember it because it was just me there. Ow. I oh, we took a big hit.
healer. Yeah, that's not... that's not working out. Oh, look, we're happy. Can we encourage Sunny anymore? Like, can we just, like, amplify that? No. Okay, that's the cap. Fred for trash of me. Bandage on Amori. You doing all right, Amori? Kill my guy. Oh, holy bin in the sky. Please grant me the power to recycle fire enemies. Slapping with a bag. Almost dead. Ah, oh, stop slapping with your bags. Oh, why, Holy Pen? Have you forsaken us? No. How is this possible? But you are all just trash. You're manly trash. We just didn't reach the trashless world. Has the Holy Pen forsaken us? No. I must have misinterpreted its message. Shouldn't you be like in the dream world? This is a little zany. The Holy Pen makes no mistakes after all. It's I who must have been wrong. Wait. I understand now. The Holy Bin must be telling me that there is no trashless world. We can only make the most of the world that we live in. Yes. Come, brothers and sisters. The trashless world is not up in the sky, but on the ground that we stand on. We must make this our trashless world together. Good for you? Guys, what did I just see? Sonny. Uh... Sonny? Hey, you all right? You've been staring at space for like five minutes now. Haha. <laughs> what are you daydreaming about, Sonny? Your expression. It was so peaceful. So that already makes a little bit more sense now because of the, uh... Sonny, when Sonny ever gets into like their imagination, it get, starts resembling that. So that kind of aligns with like the, the dream world play zone. A lost memory. Are you a- Oh, you're swinging your bat. Hey, Aubrey! What do you want, Kel? I've been thinking. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Nope. Yeah... I guess we are. Huh. 
Isn't that weird? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you two. That just means you two, you're really comfortable around each other. I'm a little jealous you can be so candid in for all this time. I think it's something really special. Really? I was about to say that I find it kind of annoying. Ah, uh, you're such an idiot. I'm just sitting here. Hey, Polly. How's Basil doing? You're wondering if we can hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's... in the hospital. What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon. Sorry. Would you mind if we checked back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? We look at me for. Yeah. Sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. If the grandma passes... I feel like that's gonna be like one of the last kind of anchors for mentally. And then that'd be, that's when things are gonna really hit the fan. Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay with just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. So maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey's with us now, too. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sonny? What did you want to do today? It's your last day. So you should call the shots. Yeah. You should decide how you want to spend your last day in far away town. Are you implying this town's gonna be far away? Either way, Sonny. Mew? At least the cat's still alive in the real world. Looks like the sun is about to set. You wanna go see the treehouse now, Sonny? Wow. I guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? Yep. You best float up that name. When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that we were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. Even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here. That we can face this together. It's okay, hero. I'll go first. Hey. Sonny, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could? Aubrey! Hey, we're trying to, like, share AIM users' names. Sonny, you guys coming? 
Actually, never mind. It's nothing. Hey, no, you come back here. Give me your aim, SN. Kelly, you are not a good wingman. Toys long forgotten, discolored by weather. Ah. The entrance looks like the entrance to Basil's house in the dream world. And there's the log. This is where Mari... Yeah, it is. It feels like forever ago. But I can still remember that day perfectly. That... That day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with Mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day, too. I went out to get a haircut with Dad. Oh, yeah. You were there with dear Dad, too, Aubrey. We were prepared for something, weren't we? Yeah. We were. We were going to watch Mari and Sunny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night. But... When we came home in the evening. Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. I... I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's... let's keep going. So they chopped down the tree? Now, yeah, that's why I figured that the one room in the, the dream world was a uh, variation of this. Wow, this place is in better days. But it looks like everything is right where we left it. It's not a good thing. All our old stuff is still here. Hey, look, here's our playing cards. That was the best of card games. Wasn't that, guys? Your pitiful deck couldn't beat a cow. Mr. Planning. Oh, you're so dirty. Cows are very good at Yu-Gi-Oh! Look at all these old books. This is where all my cookbooks went. Ah, I think I just stepped on Jack. Oh man, such good times. Hmm. Why do we have a toaster in here? Baseball bat. Mara used to play softball, but quit when she injured her knee. Now she's just a nail bat. Ha! Ah! Plants made from paper. Aubrey and Basil made these together. Yo, yo, yo. You only knew how to walk the dog. Kel's old shoes. I forgot to stuff at your house frequently. No TV. Kel brought it up here, but it was pretty bummed when he found he couldn't use it. Hero's cookbooks. Mari bought them for his birthday. The calendar. The day of the recital has passed. Man, that was the best at card games. No. I remember now. Kel brought this toaster in here. He said he wanted me to cook with it. Kel was such a weird kid. Mr. Planning is so dirty. There. Good as new. This is the last photo. Oh, it's all faded because I'm exposed to the elements. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You put the toy box key in your pocket. Let me see something. Now, do you tell them you have the key? Hey, look. Sunny found a photo of us. No, you didn't mention the key yet. We all look... so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Sunny. We should add it in.
complete. There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, Hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well, right, Sonny? Let's start from the beginning. I already did that, so I'm just gonna skip straight to that one photo. Ta-da! All summer we've been working on the treehouse in Sunny's backyard. And today's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job if I do say so myself. Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. For a whole half day. Mario would be happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. <sighs> if only Basil could be here, too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Oh, what, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now about that key... You know... After everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I realize I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In a few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Sunny and Basil became more closed off. Kale made a bunch of friends playing sports, and Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me, and abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sonny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first. But after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him. But he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on the bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because... Well... I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But... When I opened it... Basil had blacked out all the photographs of Marker. I couldn't believe it. He'd even blacked out Mari's face. All of her memories together. I felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused. And angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. <sighs> Such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I really didn't understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse. So I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You're still pretty young then, Cal. But I'm the oldest. So I should have known to take care of everyone. I... just... Ah, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. 
I, I, I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Henri. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Oh yeah, come in. Wait just one second. Ready or not, here I come. Hey, what are you doing? No, stop it. We should go see if Basil's back home later today. I need to apologize to him. And I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. One thing with, um, Amori's kind of, uh, not literally self-insert, but they're kind of like a blank, they're like, you know, a bit of a Gordon Freeman, if you know what I mean. Um, we don't see their reaction, per se, to the events that have occurred in the game too much. Sometimes you see a little bit, but it's pretty subtle. So we'll see how the finale works out with all of that, when everything comes to a head. Hey. Huh? Uh-oh. Yeah, the burgers. Hey, champs. Here's one burger for each of you as promised. Got four hamburgers. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen all of you hanging out. Reminds me of when you were all still children. Huh. Sonny. Good luck with moving away tomorrow. Remember to visit every now and then. I know Kale is going to be lonely without you. Oh, Dad. Stop it, you're embarrassing me. Ha 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 ha. a lesson from your old man. As you get older, it's going to get harder and harder to make friends. So if you have a good one, it's important to cherish them. Friends can be for life, you hear me. Aubrey's over here like, yeah, f friends, that's, that's what I'm hoping for with Sonny. Friend, friends for life. Oh, hey. So this is your hangout spot with your new friends, huh? Yeah, so what? Eh, nothing really. Can't really blame you. It is a pretty cool place. Looks a little mercury now, but I remember we used to swim here all the time. It looks the same as it always did. You just had lower standards. <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. So... Why don't we stop swimming here again? Spiders. You don't remember? Mari stopped wanting to come here after the time Sunny almost drowned. Oh man, I completely forgot about that. Oh yeah, thanks, Kel. Kel and I used to do tricks jumping off that statue. But when we asked Sunny to try it, he froze up and fell into a lake. Do you remember Sunny? Oh, I remember. It all happened so fast. And even though we were already in the water, it wasn't us who saved you. No, it was Mari. She died before we could even react. 
I'll never forget that moment that she carried you out of the lake. And when you finally opened your eyes, she fell on top of you and burst into tears. I had never seen her that way before. Mari really loved you, Sonny. You know that, don't you? I'm seeing... Images... She was. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get word out of him since. Maybe we just need some time alone. But... I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys go try to talk to him? Of course! We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. Basil has been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil has friends who care so much about him. Hey, Basil. It's Hero. I'm here with Kale, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just want to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? I don't think it's working. <sighs> Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about Polly. We've all been there before. If I learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we need each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly! Do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you are all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch. Ah, oh, this is all happening so fast. Oh, okay then. Since Kale wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. Huh. Where do you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called first. Oof. Ow, that hurt. Kale, she does have a nail bat. I need to remind you of this. Basil, why can't you say that everyone is here for you? If you want to hang out with your friends, sure. We're hanging out, just doing stuff. I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Yep.
Hey guys, it's kind of spooky, right? Hey, Sonny. I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting. I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ugh. That's so cheesy, Hero. Plus, I want to be more than friends. But let's not get into that. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. Heh <laughs> Hero's always been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. What, 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 what did you say? Huh. It's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying. I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's a softy now. Huh. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like I know that Mari's still here with us too. You know, I hope we'll see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It'd be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Ah, oh, Man, I'm getting sleepy. Store. What the? Is he asleep already? Snore. Lax. Yeah, that's Kel for ya. That's part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something, or visit me, you know? Visit, visit me specifically? Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park. Or the beach. And just sit home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Heh. <laughs> that sounds kinda nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Yeah, sure. Of course they can, Omri. You don't have to ask. The more the merry, after all. How else we get to form our team's skull? Come on, guys. Time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're all gonna go to sleep, and then as soon as you wake up, there's gonna be some kind of weird psychological horror game thing going on. I'm just warning you all. Before you guys go to sleep, I'm just warning you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sonny. See y'all in the morning. Don't worry. That just makes you want to worry more. Everything's going to be okay. Will you forgive me? My best friend. Please. Oh, look. Here it goes. Where am I? 
You know, usually when I'm in this place, I'm like monochrome in color. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't sign up for this. You better not be evil, Cooper. <laughs> Hi, me. Uh, nice tissue box, me. Nice sketchbook. Huh, it's a little more emptier than I remember. Nothing but static. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Do you want to destroy it? Sure, why not? You're free now. I don't know if that's a good thing yet. Now, are you symbolic for a guilt or are you Basil specifically? Uh oh. Uh oh, I had a terrible, a terrible, like, premonition. It was like, it was like a, how do you describe it? Um, Spider-Man, like, spider senses just went off like crazy. I don't, I don't want to say what I just fought, but we'll see if it happens. Something drags something into the shadows. Calm down. Maybe. Because that thing... I always debate if that thing was representing Basil. Or if it was representing like our guilt or some kind of representational Basil. Uh, and we haven't seen him since he entered the house. So that's why I'm like... Hmm... Are we being attacked by Basil right now? Did he crawl out of his room, per se? Something, something real bad is about to happen. I feel in my bones. Something horrible is gonna happen. Be dragged into the shadows. Feels like I'm fighting Merrick here. Drag you to the shadow realm. There's a spider. I kind of like these bosses. Uh, it's too bad they're only used in these specific instances. Cause they don't, they don't reuse that style much. Most of it's just very static art sprites. Focus. Now that I'm focused, my tech will actually do something, hopefully. I'm about to die. Nope. I persist. Uh oh, I I'm seeing a figure here. Calm down.
Something sways in the- uh oh. Something sways in the wind. Focus our eyes. You feel like your life is in danger. Persist. It's time to be traumatized, children. Oof. Your lungs tying up. Persist. Your heart beats out of your chest. Persist. Your fingers won't stop trembling. Man, everyone's just napping on the couch, and here I am, like, going through this. You hear your breathing beginning to steady. Calm down. We were already calmed down. Let's do it again. Use your heart begin to steady. Look, it's like a little symbolic. Your heart's steadying, and that's why your health part's increasing. You gave her all your courage and learned to overcome. My eyes are now open. You got a light bulb. It's different than the usual bulb, see? Usually that bulb is black. Uh oh. I don't like where this is going. Any more photographs around here? Well, there's a save point. I'll need that. Sunny. You're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me. But maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please, forgive me. You got Basil's photo album. Pretty dark in here. Uh... There is some creepy stuff floating around here. That's no good. My only daughter is gone. And you, you are my only son. I can't lose you as well. Near red glow radiates from the TV. You feel strangely drawn to it. The corner. That is the stairs. Ooh, interesting. Number one. This is towards the end.
this is just before that. Towards the end, right? Yeah, that's about where I figured. Now the shadow goes into the next room. And I can progress. See four kids climbing a ladder to space. See five kids having a picnic. See four kids providing an elevator. See four kids talking to a whale. You see three kids and one toast. See four kids talking to a giant statue. You see four kids playing in the forest. You see four kids riding a minecart. This person is breathing steadily. This one's early. Hmm. Some of them disappeared. Here's another photograph. Alright, nothing down here. Oh god, they're all flatlining. Person's not breathing. Ah, see? They spoiled the story at the start of the game. Stairs. Doors locked. Door is locked. Door is locked. Only one place to go but down. God, my face is covered in blood. Okay, you were taking a lot of photos. The person's not breathing. Sonny, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Mari's calendar. Today's the day of the recital. The recital. Oh, oh, oh. Can't watch the blood. Blood doesn't come off. I saw something right there. Now we're like a, we're literally a zombie now. Nice use of like the little kind of like note kind of landing for like a dramatic reveal. Let's go with the music theme. 
Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. There's that red room. You want to screw in the light bulb. This is fine. You want to pick up this photo? Yes. There's no going back. Well, I have a good idea where these photos are going. Right there. Right there. Jump rope. This is toward the end. Time news. And then they tie her up. To make everyone assume that she hung herself. That's pretty traumatic. The the the, the death down the stairs is traumatic too, but that's that's just putting on top of the thing, if you know what I mean. One photograph left. God. Look at the shadow. Oh, let's put the whole story together now. Mmm, so that's what the eye represents.
You always keep sleeping. I'm going from some stuff right now, and... Yep. This is not a simple solution.